stop it already. A twist out is better. A twist is better. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Eunice Ozamoya and this is Eunice Borg. If you're new here, kindly like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn your post notification button to get notified every single time I post on my channel. So guys, today I'm going to be telling you various things you're not supposed to be doing to your natural. Don't try it. So guys, the first one will be using other people's regimen on your hair. So, um, I know you watch a lot of YouTube videos, obviously. You may watch my regimen and you will watch another person's regimen and you may watch another natural hair youtuber's regimen and you just want to try everybody's regimen because I'm saying it's worked for me, so you're thinking it's going to work for you. Or she said it works for her, so you're thinking it's going to work for you. Sister, stop it. Not all regimen you should try. Don't even use other people's regimen. Ha like you should try out an experiment with your hair. Try out what works for you and stick with it. Do not try what works for me. It's what for me doesn't it's going to work for you. Like we might be fussy and you might have a fussy hair. But my hair texture, hair porosity might be different. So imagine using my regimen on a different hair porosity and using it on your own hair porosity. Just imagine the damages you're doing on your hair. So do not use other people's regimen. That's going to be the first one. The second one will be heat. I know, right? Sometimes you're tempted. Oh, my hair is shrinking a lot. I want it out. I want to do a blow dry. I want to do this. I want to do that. Now, heat is not nice for your hair. But there are some heat protective tools and heat whatever to use. But I just prefer you don't just do heat at all. But if you want to use heat, they have a specific temperature you're not supposed to pass the limit. Like a temperature above 350 degree Fahrenheit, do not pass that level. That heat is very high for your hair. It's going to spoil your hair. Please do not try heat at all. But if you're trying heat, it should be below 350 degree Fahrenheit. It should be like 2 something. Do not use a stretcher or stuff like that. You can use a blow dryer brush. That is the only thing I'm going to recommend for you if you're using a heat protective strip. Just a blow dryer brush. Number three is going to be over shampooing or over washing your hair. Like when you overwash your hair, you are stripping your hair scalp of its natural oil. That is the truth. No matter what um moisturizer you use and the oil you use as a sealant once you're stripping your natural hair oil it's not it's not good for your hair i'm not sure your hair is going to grow or it's going to be that healthy as the way it was supposed to be when you were using um when you did not strip the air of its oil so number three will be do not overwash or over shampoo your hair another thing you just wash your hair and you're trying to dry your hair and you carry it all and you just all over your hair and all over your hair please do not use towel to dry your hair please i know in one of my videos i've done that like you see i'm still learning so i like i learned that that it's not good I don't try it again so instead of using towel to dry your hair just allow it to air dry natural hair should just dry your hair the natural hair should just dry your hair the next one will be over manipulation yeah um you're you're doing braids that are just of high tension you're doing this and that and that and that. Please stop it already. A twist out is better. A twist is better. Those are like low manipulation style. You can actually try for your hair. Instead of over manipulation, just do a low protective style on your hair. That one works better. Also, too much product. I'm not a fan of products, like seriously. I'm just a fan of okay, a moisturizer and a sealant, then maybe my brush and my comb, and I'm done. 
like using too much product on your hair is just not too good it's not good not just it's not good stop it those are not good for your hair another thing i would say is regular trimming like i don't know i don't support trimming your hair but if you want to trim your hair i prefer you trim your hair only when you're seeing split end that is the only way i think you should cut your hair because you're trying to retain length and you're trying to grow your hair and you're cutting your hair does that make sense no so i only think the reason you should use a trimmer and not even a scissors a trimmer on your hair is when you see split end that is when i think you should use um a trimming tool on your hair if not do not cut your hair a lot of people they do you will hear you to that shadow like they every three months everything every that just you're trying to retain length and you're cutting your hair every three months how is that possible just trim your split hand that's when you see one and that's when you need to trim those are like the general general mistakes and things almost everybody to their natural hair that you need to stop doing so guys um this is the end of today's video so bye guys i love you we got to see more trim your hair keep your hair and do good to your hair bye